Hello guys, welcome back to Houston with the Hammerheads here. Another disappointing playoff elimination. Things just don't seem to be going our way. But yeah, we, we got to try and make something happen here for sure. Um, I'm just kind of going through the retired players here. So quite a few big names retiring this year. And if we go to goaltenders, we can see that Rask is retiring just now apparently. Mike Smith is retiring at the age of 45. Atta boy. Farlamov, and yeah, there's a few goalies retiring here for sure. Let's continue simming though. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I just don't really feel like doing the draft interview, so I'm going to continue simming there as well. And yeah, let's just take the draft head on. So I know some of you guys are saying that maybe we could move up in the draft. I, I just don't really see it as necessary right now. We already have too many pieces, and I think that, you know, we'll be able to get some good picks um, where we are. And... Yeah, on top of that, I know there was a player my friend was telling me about, Ruslan Gonchar, I believe. So if we go to the draft class, I am not sure which spot he was supposed to go in exactly. Uh, he's right here. It's a medium top six forward, and he has two abilities that are basically guaranteed. He's NHL ready, so this guy does seem like the type of guy we would possibly want to move up for. Yeah, he seems pretty solid. But again, we just don't really need that player right now. Let's see if... So he's supposed to go at uh, like 14 range. So let's say we got pick 12 to play it safe. No, no one wants to get rid of their... Not until 15. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So you know what? Um, I'm just going to sim to our pick for now. I don't really feel like moving up at the moment. Let's see what Ruslan Gonchar ended up being. So he ended up going at pick 12, believe it or not. There he is. He's a two-way forward, 78 overall, medium top six with two abilities. So yeah, he is solid for sure. But yeah, it's, um, I don't know if it was really, if it would have been worth moving up for him, especially considering they did not want to get rid of their pick. So now the question becomes, who do we grab? We are currently at pick 24. And this guy's supposed to go at 22. Eno Valin. A grinder, apparently. We know nothing about this guy, so I really don't trust that. Um, I do see this guy supposed to go at 28, though. So he's supposed to go in the first round. And we have him pinned. Now, why is that? Oh, because of a lot of abilities, I'm imagining. Two years till NHL ready. Very well-rounded personality. Would mesh well in any locker room. Yeah, you know what? Let's take a, let's take a shot on this guy. Let's see what happens. All right, low elite left wing power forward. With four abilities. That is huge. Okay. That's a good first round pick. Let's see if the other picks, you know, if I missed out on anyone here. I'll do like the next four. So that was um, two there. Our guy is currently the better overall. And these guys are medium top nines. And he is a low elite. So you know what? We actually came out ahead there, it looks like. Yeah, that's solid. Okay, cool. Let's sim to pick 57 now. Round number two. And see what we have here. So we're at pick overall 57. And let me just uh, check our pinned players here. 57, eh? Hmm. It would be a little early to take bits, maybe, but he's a guaranteed medium elite. Why would you not want to take him? He's five years till NHL ready. That's the only problem. But you know you're getting a medium elite player. You can't really complain. Oh, man. And he's not going to be there next round. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him. Screw it. Bits, there you go. Let's sim the next few picks to see if I missed out on anything big time. And it looks like not really. Yeah, and is there any abilities? No. Low top six? No. No. I'm assuming our guy doesn't have any abilities either. No. But uh, medium elite nonetheless. So I'll take that. Let's sim to our next pick, which is pick number 90. So who do we have left now? Um... Dmitry Glebov. He is listed as a gem. He's actually at the very top here. I think we're going to take him. Yeah, he's a gem. Let's see what happens. It's worth the risk. Is he actually a gem? Low top six. Um, not really. <laughs> it was worth the effort, though. Yeah, it's always uh, a, a gamble that you should take with the gem players. Because you never really know. It definitely could work out. Let's see if we have anyone pinned left. We do not. Okay, scout recommendation. We got these guys here. Let's sort by potential. See if there's any 
Ooh. He's not going to be medium elite. What pick are we at? We're at pick 108. And that guy's supposed to go at 118. That guy's a guaranteed low top nine, but another risk I might be willing to take right here. Same with Braden Umberger. Hmm. Umberger's supposed to go at 162. We might be able to get him next round. I'm going to try this guy for now. Come on. Oh my word, another medium elite. And he is a grinder. No abilities, 48 overall. That's a rough go, but still. Yeah, that's uh, another medium elite under our belt. Some more trade bait, I guess. And is the other guy still there? The high elite guy? He is. I doubt he's going to be any good, but... I mean, if we're getting lucky so far, let's see. Let's push our luck here. Braden Umberger. High fringe starter. You know what? I will take that. I will take that. Okay, 56 overall is not great, but, you know, it is a fourth round pick. High fringe starter is a pretty solid... Um, I guess potential. I don't know. I forgot the name of it for a second there. But yeah, it's a pretty good potential. And we have a low top six here. And he is Ukrainian. So I think I'm going to take him. Four years till NHL ready. But low top six is, uh, let's, okay, let's see. Let's see if there's any better picks to go for here. Okay, there are low top six forwards, which are definitely better in this case. Uh, he's supposed to go at 226. I wonder if Viktor Soglobov would be any good. Oh, my word. 842. Okay, so what pick are we even at, by the way? We are at pick 156. Okay. So we got these guys here. Uh, low top six defensemen. Don't really know much about him. Four years to NHL ready. Two years to NHL ready, but we are not very confident on that. I doubt we're going to find anyone that's going to be ready anytime soon. Um, what happened there? There's nothing to report. We know nothing about that guy. Yeah, it seems like it's mostly five years or we have literally no information on him. So let's go back up. And what should we do here? Medium seventh defenseman is actually not awful, but hmm. Strength of competition A. One goal in 16 games. And he's 20. Nah. Nah. No, I'm not doing it. Okay, you know what? I'm not really going to pay attention to where they're supposed to go anymore. I'm just going to try to grab... Let's go with the American Bobulev here. Low top six. He is a center sniper. All right, let's move on to round number six. See what we have here. Medium bottom six. I'm actually kind of down for a guaranteed medium bottom six. A sniper, though. I don't know if I want a sniper. We might take... Pope, who is a two-way forward. Probably, anyway. We're not 100% sure on that, but pretty confident. Uh, put up a lot of points, actually. 52 pims. And four years till NHL ready. Oh, my! A medium top four. Okay, there's no way I'm not taking this guy. Yeah, you guys are probably screaming right now. Like, you better take him! Medium top four. A Finneganov. There we go. Offensive defenseman. That is a steal at this point in the draft. Okay. Let's sim to round number seven. This has been a very solid draft so far, in my opinion, anyway. Maybe you guys think otherwise, but I am quite happy with how it's going. You know what? I'm going to take a risk on the Ukrainian lad here. He's not going to be any good, but I'm going to try it out anyway. Low seventh defenseman. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Okay. There's the draft. Let us sim the entire draft. Get it out of the way. Thank you. Boom. Very good. Very good indeed. And if we go to the re-sign phase, I'm not sure if we have a whole lot of people we got to re-sign, but I'm definitely going to try my best, okay? And I'll try to re-sign these guys now too off-screen because, you know, I guess you don't really need to see this. It's sort of a <laughs> waste of time for you, so just give me a minute. I will try to get these guys back. Oh, man, I forgot about New Hook. That's a little scary. Okay, how much cap space do we have? Let's go to our contracts and see. So we have $19 million, New Hook. We can qualify him again, apparently. Uh, he wants 7 million. Let's qualify him for now. Sure. And Bjorkstrand, how much is he going to want? If he wants a lot, I'm not bringing him back. Yeah, we'll let him walk for now. We'll release him. There you go. Lundestrom, how much do you want? 2.7, that's doable. I'll give you a 2.55. 2 yeah, you can have that. Probably worth that amount. I would like to 
fairly confidently say a two-way contract for Pierlini, sure. Uh, what about this guy? You want a two-way contract? No, you do not. See you later. Releasing you to the wild. Okay. Uh, not like the Minnesota wild, but anyway. T. Moore. Trent Moore. Where did this guy come from? Did I draft this guy? Oh, I did. In the sixth round of 2026. So last year. Okay, he's 79 overall. Absolutely, I'm offering you a contract. There you go. Your entry-level deal. That is huge. Don't know where that came from, but I'm very down. All right, what does Lysel want? I'll give him one more year. Sure. And he'll be an RFA after that again. Uh, do you want a two-way contract? You do not. So I'm going to release you. Sorry, but things have to be done. Danielson, medium top six. I will bring you back. Yeah, sure. I'll give you that. And Bohinski, medium top four defenseman, 70 overall. You could play in the HL, I think. Oh, maybe not. Is this one of the guys we just drafted? Um, no, 2026. So I think that was also last year. Or was it? Yeah, I guess so. Because I'm looking at the top right corner. It says 2027. So um, this guy we just drafted. So I'm assuming that that'll be the 2027 draft. Yeah, that checks out. Okay, so um, we have one year left to just let him kind of sit. So we'll do that. And then Haynes, medium bottom six. I could bring you in, sure. Might as well. Uh, another medium top nine here. I know you can find a lot of these guys in free agency, but it just feels better when you actually drafted them, you know? Um, 63 overall are kind of... Ah, you guys can probably walk. And... Hmm. They just don't seem to be getting much better. Maybe I'll bring one of them in. No, I'll let them both walk. I don't care. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then... A lot of these guys are the ones we just drafted. They are very low in overall, but medium elite, medium elite, medium top four, low top six. We did well in that draft, in my opinion. And if we go to the goaltenders, what do we got going on back here? Okay, so this guy is 70 overall, and he is currently an RFA, medium backup potential. We got, who's this guy? When did we get him? 2023, third round. So that's a long time ago. Huh. He's got low starter, and then we have the medium fringe starter guy here. What should we do? Should we bring this guy? Yeah, let's let's bring him in. Let's bring him in. You can have that contract. There you go. Teal is on a good deal, man. And we have him for uh, one, two, three more years on that. And then we have 1.5 million for DiPietro for two more years. So our goalie situation is still good for the foreseeable future. And I think here we're good too, but... I see people saying we should move on from Barzal, and maybe maybe it is time. Could be time. All right, so we're probably going to get a bunch of scouts and the coaches as well, I suppose, coming back. At least I hope they come back. Okay. And to be honest, I'm not entirely thrilled with the role you offered me. All right, dude, whatever. <laughs> Don't care. And okay, maybe I should offer them more money. Okay, we got... That person back, at least. Lundestrom came back. Moore joined. Perlini was okay. Did anyone say no? That is the real question here. Looks like everyone said yes. Okay. So these are the only players left expiring. And I'm not really going to be too concerned with these ones down here. Kind of just let them go. They didn't really grow too much. Don't seem to be on the upward climb. So, yeah. I think we're pretty much good. I just offered Lejoie a contract as well. And, oh, forgot, this is still going on. Some more scouts. Okay, well, at least they're all coming back. We got Lejoie as well. And maybe I should go look at those coaches. Or maybe I should just look at coaches in general. See who's available. So we currently have... Yeah, wait. Never mind. A lot of them came back, it looks like. Oh. Never mind? I thought they were all giving negative messages. Apparently not. Maybe I should have read the whole thing. Okay, well, let's bring... You back as well. Sure, why not? And we can advance another day, see if we get him. I also want to check out free agency to see who is going to be there. Okay, another bunch of scouts there, it looks like. Or maybe just one. No, he's not interested. Okay, well, that's fine. What am I even... What job am I trying to give you? AHL associate coach. What are you listed as? All right, you know what? You're gone. You're gone, Erickson. We need an AHL 
something. Because all we have right now is a head coach. So we need some AHL coaches. Yeah, I can't even hire anyone right now, though, which is kind of unfortunate. You probably have to wait until free agency. So let's sit up to free agency and see where that gets us. Okay. And sure. Boom. And we're here. Let's see if we can hire coaches now. If not, then we might have to wait till next year. But we should be able to. Yes, we can. Cool. Uh, oh, my. A+. Plus. And he's a forwards kind of guy. 50% team fit, though. Rough go. Our current coach is an A, and I think he has a pretty high team fit. So I'm going to leave him for now. Um, we needed, like, an AHL assistant coach and stuff. Associate coach. Yeah. Janus. That's his name. Really. Is his first name Hugh? Her first name Hugh? Okay. What do we got here? Is it going to show me team fit? Oh, it does. Oh, that team fits. Oh, my word. Okay, I'm going to wait till the season actually starts. I feel like that is not accurate. There's no way. Yeah, that's that's got to be some sort of buggy thing with the rosters not being finalized yet. Okay. Who's available in free agency? What do we got? Nico. Oh, my word. He wants 12.7. He's 91 overall. 12.7 million. And he is a UFA. Should we bring him in over Barzell? Maybe. Do we have any, like, scouting info on him? He fits on offensive line one, power play line one, four-man power play line one. Hmm. Okay, okay. You know what, guys? It might not be time. It might not be time to move on from Barzell. He's making less money, and he's a higher overall. I think we should probably stick with Barzell for now. Because he's two years older, which isn't significant. We'll be saving $2 million by keeping Barzell. And on top of that, he is two overall better. So, yeah, he sure is not the way to go. See, never mind. We're going to we're gonna stick with Barzell for now. And I'm going to play boss on the first line all next year, regardless of what the game tries to tell me to do. So, we got that going for us. And is there any players here, overall-wise, who aren't asking for an insane amount? Because otherwise... There's going to be some players left over that we can just grab at the start of next year. Philippe Deneau only wants 3.5 as an 85 overall centerman. What is our current team looking like? I'm curious. And I sort of forget. Because I haven't recorded one of these in a bit, actually. I was really on top of it. And then I sort of lost it. So let's see. I know we have New Hook. And we have Barzell. Lundestrom. Wait, where is New Hook? Oh, it's because he is... Probably in the system, right? Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Suzuki at 78. We could bring him up finally, but we just... Yeah. We have too many good players, man. Too many good centers. Left wing? Oh, my word. Okay, we need to bring in left wingers. Right wingers were set. I and mean, Robert Thomas could play center as well. Yeah. It might even be time to move on from Robert Thomas. 4.6 million. 83 overall. Might be able to find something for him. Or basically just let him go, almost, you know? For that price, we can get an 83 overall player for a lot less than that. Okay, uh, defensively, one, two, three, four, five. What happened to our defense? Hello, am I missing something? Minor top four now? He might actually grow through the offseason though. We might be able to bring him up. So honestly, it kind of looks like we need a defenseman as well. When did this happen? So we need a defenseman and we need left wingers big time. Yikes. Okay. I know that we have been playing uh, Lundestrom on the left side. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what's available in free agency again. Okay. I just realized something though. Raymond is right wing slash left wing and we've been playing him on the left side. So I think that's why I see a huge gap here that isn't necessarily there. We're going to play Raymond on the left side and then have Boss playing on the right side. So yeah, that's, that's why that is... Um, Confusing me. And then Zabinijad at 88 overall. Oh my goodness. Offer him a contract extension. Yikes. He's going to want a big boost. Connor Brown is probably going to want a decent boost as well. So he's going to get traded at the deadline. Or we'll just let him walk at the end of the year. I know you guys aren't a big fan of letting them walk. But that is part of the strategy of the here and now. Alright. You got to be willing to do stuff like that. And then just hope that in free agency you'll get a break. So Olofsson will be like the second line winger Zabinijad we have the second line right winger and then we'll have new hook as the center and then okay we're still pretty stacked actually so we don't really need a whole lot of anything I changed my mind maybe a defenseman 
We could use a defenseman, perhaps. But that's about it. And I will check goalies just out of pure curiosity. Goalies, and we'll go to unrestricted. So, um, overall, you got Gibson, Merzlikens. Okay, so, yeah, we're not really too concerned with that. And defensemen, in general, overall, we got Girard at 86. Okay, he's solid, but we don't really need him. I mean, we're okay at the top part of our defense. It's more the, the lower area. Jake McCabe. I might just try to sign this guy. He doesn't want, like, any money. Defensive pairing three, that's exactly where you'd be. Hmm. I might just do it. For a deal like that? Are you kidding me? I'm going to offer it to him. In fact, I'm going to give him 1.6. Okay. Well. Yeah. I don't know. Let me know if there's any players you think we should try to grab. I don't think it's a good idea to get rid of Barzal just yet. He kind of fits the first line and... He is 93 overall. Our sec So basically, our first line is going to be Barzal, Raymond, and Boss, which is busted. Our second line is going to be Zabinijad, Olafson, and Newhook, which is also ridiculous. And we have depth. We could trade Robert Thomas. Um, actually, you know what? Let's uh, do a trade search right now just to see what comes up. Where can I do that? Find trade. Okay. If we go to... I guess, is he listed as a center or right wing? I think he's a center, right? Maybe he's a right wing first. Robert Thomas. There he is. Okay. Oh, his value is so low. His value is so low. Well, let's try to find a trade. We can get a third and a fifth. We can't really get a lot for him. He'd basically just be gone. But he'd be freeing up $4.6 million in cap. And we could probably replace him quite easily. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I think McCabe was worth offering the contract. Because we do need a depth defenseman. But other than that, I think we're all right. So, yeah. I'm curious to see what you guys think, though. Next video, we will do the free agency stuff and sim the season. Hopefully have another good year. And that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.